All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about fixing my pressure in my reverse osmosis water filter system. We seem to, our pressure seems to be getting less pressure. My wife told me that, and this is like the first time I think she's right. Okay, there was the second time she was right. Right, babe, second? Maybe third? Okay, Captain. Okay, all right. She's right all the time, and I'm gonna fix this. Uh, so if you're losing pressure in this, it's really easy to fix. Just follow along and we will fix the pressure in your reverse osmosis. One thing you are going to need, you are going to need something to check pressure, like a tire pressure gauge. Now it says in the manual you should use like a digital one. So you can get a digital one if you want or if you have one because we got to check the pressure in. There's like a holding tank for these reverse osmosis. And in the holding tank, it has a, a bladder in it. The bladder needs to have around five to seven PSI of air pressure. I have a low pressure tire gauge. It goes from one to 16 pounds. So this will also work if you can get one of these. If I find something like this, I'll throw it down in the description if you don't have one. You're gonna need some type of air compressor if you gotta add air into that. And before we even start, we are gonna drain some of the water out of that because we're gonna end up draining that tank completely just to check the pressure in it. So if you wanna use some water until that all fills back up, make sure you drain yours and maybe save some of your water. All right, first thing we need to do is shut the water off that fills this tank. This is the tank we're gonna be checking the air pressure in. Now. I ended up putting my own shutoff in, so your shutoff may be under your sink, because a lot of times they will put this whole system under your sink. I ended up putting mine in my basement underneath my sink. If you don't know where your shutoff is, most likely if you have one like mine, I have a green line, let me show you here. But I have this green line right here. It comes off of my filters. My filters are right there and there's a green line right a green line right here that green line is going up to my water line my cold water line and i have a valve on mine that i can shut so i'm going to turn my water off and after that then we're going to drain this tank completely so i'm going to drain some of that water out you don't have to save it all unless you want to save it all So, and if you have a Watts reverse osmosis like I have, you may have a different faucet. I did end up replacing my faucet. It's a really easy job if you ever end up wanting to get a new faucet. I can put that faucet that I bought for mine down in the description also. A lot nicer because it has this nice valve right here that just opens up. Let me get some water saved and we'll move on to the next step. All right, got my water shut off and the water is completely done draining. Now we can move on to step three. All right, step three is I'm gonna add some air to this right now with that valve shut and I've already have it drained and leave, leave your valve open, the one you have by your sink. So I'm gonna purge the rest of the water out of this because I know there's still some water in here before we actually check that five to seven pounds. As I put this in, some water is gonna come out show you that here on video oh, that should be good now i'm going to let that water when that water stops draining then we'll go in to check to see how if i have the five to seven pounds in this tank if yours is not really that low you may not get much water at all after you try to purge the rest out all right, that should be good. I'm gonna check it to see what I even have it at. Yeah, this says I have like 12 pounds of pressure in there right now, which is a little higher than the manual says five to seven. So I definitely purged all that water out. I'm gonna shut this valve. All right, once you got all your water purged out of your tank, now we can check for the five to seven pounds of air pressure in this tank, which I know mine's a little high, so I'm gonna end up letting a little out and I'll probably go closer to that higher side. Oh, 
I like seven pounds. All my valves are still shut. Closer, 10 pounds. That should be close to the seven pounds, I think, now. All right, now I have about seven pounds in there. I think mine actually came out to like seven and a half pounds, so I'm, but I'm gonna leave it right there at that seven and a half pounds. And I can put this cap back on. I'm gonna open the valve back up that the valve we shut off in the beginning there that you had to shut your complete water off. I'm gonna open that valve up and then I'm gonna go upstairs and open my valve on my faucet. And when that water starts trickling out of there, then I'm just gonna shut that and let it continue to fill this tank back up and you should be good to go. All right, I got the main water turned back on. Now you should have water coming out of your faucet. I can just shut that and everything should be good to go. I do have a couple other videos on this same water filter system. I have one on changing all the filters and I also have another one on changing the main membrane in it. So you can check out one of them videos. Well, I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day.